I'm starting over. I screwed up already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was Insidious by Any Given Sin. And those sultry tones you just heard singing were from the man joining me right now, lead singer of Any Given Sin, Mr. Vic Ritchie. Sup, dude? How you doing? Doing great, man. Hey, thank you for having me. So, um, I don't know who I was talking to at first, but I saw you guys at Steel Panther in Charleston, South Carolina, a few weeks back. Um, so I have a couple questions about that first, but first impressions are pretty big, I think. When you're going to see a band for the first time, first impressions make a big deal. And you guys, not only did you kill it on stage, but man, you are a phenomenal singer. Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem, man. I really enjoyed you guys' set. You were a great buildup to what Steel Panther is. They're a different... They're a different breed all their own, but the way you guys kicked off the show, I thought was really awesome. But I, I don't know if you remember this, but I had a second impression with you after the show, which this one right here was, I have to talk to this guy because I was outside <laughs> after the show and you come walking by with the most giant box of pizza. Like you're just walking by with a box of pizza. I was like, that dude right there. I, was like, I said, hey man, great show you guys. And you stopped and you said, thanks dude. And I was like, that's my dude right there. That guy's cool. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was the biggest pizza I've ever owned in my life. Yeah. Dude, sure. That thing was ginormous. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'll just start there. What did you think of Charleston? Was it your first time here? Uh, so I've been to Charleston just like visiting and stuff before, but that was the first time playing. Definitely first time at that venue. Really dug the venues. Sound was great. Like people were great. Crowd was good. Um, the Steel Panther tour generally was was awesome. Just a lot of That's fun. That's good, man. It was just us and them. So it's it was just really easy it's not a lot of changeover you know so it's real stress-free so we just had we got to have a lot of fun and just kind of kick it around the town a little bit and yeah it was good cool. it was a great show I was glad. i'm glad you i'm glad you like charleston i'm pretty biased when it comes to my city because it <laughs> it's a we got a pretty cool city down here but um it is but uh speaking of that night i saw you with them at the charleston music hall you opened for steel panther it was a damn good show both you guys like i said absolutely killed it um but also when i was doing some digging for for you guys to figure out what to talk to you about. Um, the band is based out of Southern Maryland, which immediately made me pop because I have a ton of family in Southern Maryland. Gotcha, gotcha. So anybody tuning in for music, sorry, but this is about to turn into a, uh, an Old Bay interview. We're just gonna talk Old Bay and Crabs for the rest of the show. <laughs> no, but uh, which, uh, which part of uh, Southern Maryland are you from? Well, so I'm actually in Virginia. Uh, the rest okay. of the, the other three guys are all in the Southern Maryland area, kind of around Hollywood, Waldorf, um, things like that. I'm a bit farther out. I'm in like kind of the Shenandoah Valley, of Virginia. I travel up. Oh, that's uh, a pretty, practice. that's a pretty part of the country, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's so cool, man. Um, so just uh, speaking of Southern Maryland, just as a whole, AKA Razor Ramon, he's from there. I'm hoping that you guys can be the next legends from that part of the part of the state. Oh, That'd be pretty sweet, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we hope so, too. Okay, so you guys are the second band that's open for Steel Panther that's come on the show with me, which I greatly appreciate, man. Um, just you want to talk about your time with them, how the tour was? Was it wild? They put on a persona of just crazy, but um, what I've learned from going to see them and meeting them, they're actually really cool dudes, man. How, what was that experience like? Yeah, they're absolutely just, just really cool guys, uh, really funny guys. They love to sit around and talk about, talk about the bits and what they're going to do and it's a lot of conversation like that. Uh, they just have a lot of fun on the road and they want the bands that are with them to have fun because it makes the yeah. whole experience that much better all around. You know what I mean? So, uh, I mean, they have a show to run and it's a professional show. And so yeah. like any other tour, you're going to be dealing with, with the things that you need to deal with. But other than that, it's, it's go kick ass and we'll just have a good time. So it was, it was great. Sweet, man. Speaking of tours, I've seen you guys just announced another tour you're about to go on. Um, yes. If you want to talk about that a little bit, where are you guys going to be hitting and who are you playing with? Yeah, sure. We're going to be with uh, Shaman's Harvest and Crowbot, which uh, mm -hmm. we're kind of excited about. Those are two other Octane bands, which we're on Octane a lot, and it's kind of yeah. it's a good fit. Uh, we're all three um, with Mascot Records, so uh, it, it's, it should be a pretty cool, pretty cool tour. It's going to be some smaller venues than we were with, with Steel Panther, but we're looking kind of New Hampshire all the way over to Colorado, kind of the northern part of the country. Um, they're in June, June 3rd to June 21st, and the tickets are out now. You can check out our stuff, Crowbot stuff, or Shaman's Harvest. The, the flyers are up with all the dates nice. and everything. So. Cool, man. I'm looking forward to that one. I hope you guys come back down this way eventually, because if you guys oh, come absolutely. back, I'm definitely coming to see you, because I really enjoyed the show. Um, so I'm a part of this podcasting network that is uh, kind of built around horror-themed stuff, and I didn't know if the song Insidious was 
you know, something to do horror, what, like the movie that came out or um, how do you guys go about writing your songs? Is there any horror elements? Are you guys horror fans? Um, that, well, Mikey is definitely a huge horror fan, all the horror movies, that kind of stuff. Uh, we're all into certain bands. Like I like Ice Nine Kills a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I love the uh, bands that do gimmicks. And, uh, Alice Cooper, you know, any of those things. Zombie, Absolutely. it's all it's all so much fun. Um, we don't really intentionally do that, but, you know, if it comes out, then great. That's fine, too. Um, Insidious wasn't really about a horror uh, theme. It actually came out right about the pandemic, but it wasn't about the pandemic. So we during that, we had questions, was it about the pandemic? And, you okay. know what I mean? So, it, yeah, it, it, it was a real general song that I think uh, could be seen a lot of different ways. And I think that was really cool about it. Um, yeah. But, yeah, generally, we don't tend to go after the horror thing. But, you know, again, if, if it ends up that way, then that's fine, too. We're kind of, as long as people dig it, we're, we're good with it. Yeah, it's, it's a, it seems like heavy metal and horror really go together. Um, do you yeah. have any, do you have a horror icon you like or a horror movie that you go to that's, uh, do you like to just put on occasionally? Oh, man, I like a lot of the zombie flicks because they're just so, they're so crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've gotten into yeah. those. Like when I was a kid, it was like the thing that scared the absolute living crap out of me. You know, so that one's, one's always in my mind, like something horrible okay. with clowns in it. <laughs> oh, I hear you, man. I hear you. Okay, so um, I had, I don't know if you knew who uh, Thomas Ian Nicholas is, but he was from the American Pie movies. Um, he okay. has a band and he came on the show and we had a really funny discussion about band shirts. I don't know if you know this thing in the, in the world. How do you feel about wearing a shirt of the band to see them? On the flip side, seeing somebody wearing your shirt is awesome. As a musician, sure. I could say that's like a great feeling. Um, but how do you feel about that subject? About, uh, so like me wearing a shirt, like the band yeah. wearing their own merch. Um, yeah. I, I've never really, I don't really do it, but I know a lot of bands that do because you get on the road, you run out of laundry and you just go grab merch. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a new shirt. So you throw yeah. it on. I, I think it's just like, there's at first you're more like that, but then it, it, you're like, ah, I really like that shirt. I kind of want to wear it. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, it's whatever, what, you do you kind of thing, you know? Okay, cool, man. Um, who is some of the band's influences? Uh, you specifically, like I said, I, your voice blew me away that night. Is there anybody you model your game after or? Uh, so, well, I, I've been in love with Chris Cornell stuff, you know, ever since I heard it in the 90s. You know what I mean? Um, Miles Kennedy, I really like him a lot. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of phenomenal. probably Southern male singers that, that I, I've been into. There's some country artists that, just anybody that Jeff Buckley, you know, back in the day, um, kind of any, just any real great singer. I'll, I'll try to sing their stuff and try to learn something from that. Okay. You know, Cool, man. Um, so what do you think about the state of rock music as it is right now? And where do you think any given sin fits into that, that realm? Um, well, the state of rock music, well, it's, it's coming back. Like the pandemic killed a lot of things. As yeah. you know, uh, a lot of clubs shut down, you know, a lot more opening back up now. Um, so touring's going better. The festivals are going to kick off. You know, I think people are finally <laughs> breaking out of the shell and going out and you get bigger, bigger numbers at these clubs. So it's, yeah. it's a good spot. Um, as far as where we fit in, we're just going to keep, you know, beating the streets and keep putting out new tunes and keep building fans and it's just a long road. And so we're hoping to stay a part of it and get as far as we can pretty much. Cool, man. Okay, that's great, man. I um, what, as soon as I seen you guys at night, I added you to, I added you guys to my Amazon Music, and you guys pop into my ro rotation every every once in a while now. And, I, and it's like, yes, I got to see them live, and that's kind of like a big deal to me. Like, um, it's hard to explain whenever you're talking to a non music fan, but um, hearing a band live, especially when they nail it, like like I don't know if you'll take this at the wrong way, but you sounded better live than on what you hear on the radio. You know what I mean? Like your vocals <laughs> just, I was like. I was like, holy crap, look at this guy. I was, I was blown away, man, yeah. honestly. Oh, uh, great. Well, I'm glad to hear that. that. That's better to hear it than you're better live than your record, to me. Yeah. Good, man. So, okay. That's, um, I wanted to do a little lightning round to finish up, if that's cool with you. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, so when you're on tour, would you rather read a book or stream something to watch while you're, while you're on the road? Oh, well, I'm streaming. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you have any go-tos? Are you something you binge watch, or what do you go for? Uh, well, this last tour, I was watching the last season of um, The Last Kingdom, Uhtred. Okay. Saga, the Viking stuff, whatever. Yeah, man, that's a good show. Um, yeah. All right, so do you prefer inside venues, or do you like being a part of a big festival? Um, the festival's really cool because you'll get more people for one show, you know what I mean? So 
those are usually and, and the energy is just badass so i definitely say a festival okay cool um who's the best band that you've seen live Ooh, wow Man, recently, well, I, I did see, like, Ice Nine Kills really blew me away. Um, Alter Bridge blew me away uh, live. Oh, gosh. There's so many people, though. I, I see recently Ice Nine Kills was the band that blew me away live. That I, didn't, okay. I didn't quite expect them to be that as good as they were. Wow, that's awesome. Especially for the show that they put on. That's pretty awesome. They, right, can, right. they can knock it out of the park there, too. Um, do you have a bucket list band that you would like to open for? Or play yeah. with? What? Yeah, sure. So I definitely would love to go out with with Alter Bridge just because I'm such a big Miles Kennedy fan. Just yeah. so I can, you know, kind of just bask in his glory. <laughs> so I, I got gotcha. you. The um <laughs> the week after you guys played in Charleston, Miles Kennedy and Slash was here. So I got to oh, see them the next week. It was phenomenal, man. They are really oh, good awesome. live. That guy, yeah. he has Miles Kennedy has no ceiling for what he can sing. He could sing anything, yeah. man. Okay, all right, so you have some pretty sweet hair, but what would you rather rock, a mohawk or a mullet? Ooh, I, I'd have to go with mullet, man. Like, that's, that's classy. Okay. <laughs> nice, man. Okay, so uh, classic, rock, classic rock, grunge rock, or punk rock? Which one would you listen to most often? Um, probably the grunge era stuff. Nice. Yeah, I guess with the Chris Cornell yeah. Um, influence, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Cool, man. Well, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a ton of fun. Absolutely. You're an awesome Thank dude. You. And like I said earlier, anytime you guys come this way, I'm going to come out and see you and I'm going to keep repping you guys and um, yes, share anything you guys that. do because it's awesome, man. And the fact that you're from where my family's from makes me really happy too. So cool, man. Thank <laughs> you so much for joining me, dude. I absolutely appreciate it. And if there's anything else you want to pitch before you head out, go ahead and do it. Um, you could, you could just check out our music. We're on Spotify, Amazon, pretty much all the things. Uh, Twitter, any given sin uh, official, and you can just look up any given sin um, dot com or hit us up on Facebook. Uh, we've got our tour dates, we have our links to our music, so come check us out. All right, man, cool. Well, thank you so much, dude. We'll see you later, man. Have a great weekend. Awesome, thank you. You too. All right, man.